So, federal redistributions for people in a hurry. The Australian Electoral Commission redraw the boundaries of the federal seats that we live in either every seven years or whenever the number of people that are in each seat fall above or below a certain threshold. So traditionally, the seat of Macquarie is split in two. You've got the Hawkesbury end down here that leans towards the Liberals, and you've got the Blue Mountains that leans towards Labor. And that is precisely why, at the 2022 election, this seat right here was the most marginal seat in the entire country, with a margin of 0.2%. Of course, after the 2022 election, this seat became a fairly safe Labor seat, with a margin of 7.73%, and the reasons for that are painfully obvious to all of us. So you might have seen the news today that the Electoral Commission is proposing to abolish the seat of North Sydney, currently held by Kylie Tink. But what does that mean for us here in the seat of Macquarie? Well, the ideal number of people for a seat in New South Wales is 121,011 people. Here's the numbers that show how many people are enrolled in Macquarie now and how many people are likely to be enrolled in Macquarie by 2028. So we're right smack bang within that ideal 10% of either side window, which means that there isn't really much of a need to tinker too much with the boundaries of this seat. So here's their proposed boundaries released today. This will probably be what they lock in come October. Macquarie doesn't lose anything. The only real change is to add emu planes to the seat, stolen from the seat of Lindsay. And how do they vote? Well, here are the results for three booths around emu planes at the 2022 federal election. The two-party preferred vote favoured the Liberal, Melissa McIntosh, with between 56 and 59% of the two-party preferred vote. This is a long way from what all of the major parties wanted for the seat. The Liberal submission wanted to basically cut the seat of Macquarie in half and cobble together a brand new seat that they were going to call Reby that basically encompassed all of the Liberal voting areas of the Hawkesbury together with parts of the Hillshire around Box Hill, Gables, Nelson and shore up the Liberal vote. And it wasn't a surprise to know that the Labor Party wanted to uh, basically carve off most of the Liberal voting areas of the Hawkesbury and give them to the seat of Barara and then give parts of Penrith all the way through from Agnes Banks to Mulgoa to uh, Macquarie to shore up the Labor vote. And neither of them got their own way. In fact, the only real winners here, the people that accurately predicted what was going to happen, was the National Party. The National Party submission really very accurately predicted the way that the Electoral Commission was going to go by adding in EMU planes and leaving those other boundaries more or less the way that they are. So, these changes nudge the needle a little towards the Liberals retaking Macquarie, but not by enough. Not by nearly enough now that the margin is so generous in favour of the Labor Party. And of course, while ever the Liberals keep on putting up lacklustre candidates, I think Susan Templeman will still be sleeping fairly soundly tonight. I'm Independent Councillor Nathan Zampronio. Thanks for watching. This is Thor. He's not even my dog. We're dog sitting for our neighbours. Hero good. Yes, he is a good boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. I'm supposed to know she's right. Who is your cousin?